Well, it's uh, Wednesday night, night before Thanksgiving. Hope everyone's got big plans for tomorrow. Uh, John and I are going to welcome my good friend Carter up here to uh, beautiful downtown Greenville. Where my football team will not be playing football, damn it, this Friday. An unfortunate and unexpected chain of events <clears throat> has led to the Devils being home for Thanksgiving. So since you won't be practicing or playing any football, Green Devils, I hope you have a great Thanksgiving anyway. Enjoy time with your family. And, uh, well, think about next year. By God, we'll be playing on Thanksgiving next year. You got that shit right. We'll be beating up on some Central Tennessee team and enjoying the shit out of it while eating some turkey on Thursday. So, anyway, I hope you guys have a great Thanksgiving tomorrow. Um... Hope you got family in town, and uh, hope everyone is healthy, wealthy, and wise. I can cover one of those, and uh, probably not the healthy part, most likely not the wealthy part, so that only leaves the wise part. And with a hairdo like this, how can you deny my wisdom? Who's going to be the next coach at Florida? Uh, I have been offered the job. I am currently in the decision-making process. Uh, right, at, right As it stands right now, I think I'm going to turn it down. Um... Just don't think I can live in that state. Don't don't know that I can do it. So I'll, I'll let a lesser qualified individual take that job. And uh, best of luck to you. Every game but one next year and the following years. I still can't believe we lost to that freaking team. How did we manage to lose to Florida this year? I don't think we, I don't think Tennessee fans or any other fans saw this coming with Florida. I, I certainly didn't. Um, oh boy! Still love you, Green Devils. Uh, Tennessee, big game. Uh, we call it a big game. With Vandy at 3.45 Saturday. 30 point win minimum. We'll beat the shit out of them. That'll put us in some mid-level bowl game. Which I don't think many Tennessee fans expected this year. I think most Tennessee fans said. You know what if we make any bowl. That'd be great. But as it stands 7-5. and five Could be a decent bowl. Did I say Carter was coming up tomorrow? I think I did. That's the plan anyway. We'll see. Uh, you're all invited. Anybody that would like to stop by and eat Thanksgiving dinner with us tomorrow, uh, come on by. You know my address. I don't have to tell you. We'd love to have you. Nothing else. Just stop by and get you a plate. Tis the season to be thankful. I am personally thankful that I'm alive. I, I could not be alive right now. And there's no guarantee that I'll be alive tomorrow. There's no guarantee that any of us will be alive tomorrow. And I hope we all remember that. I sure as shit do. It's been a rough five months. Uh, I'm not going to lie. I get tired of talking about it. And I know y'all get tired of hearing about it. 
But it's important to me to talk about this because a little over five months ago, I was living life as if there were not a care in the world, nothing wrong with me, nothing to worry about. And then I wake up uh, July 23rd and hit the floor. 24 hours later, I'm laying in the hospital here in Greenville, unconscious, having had surgery uh, down in in the nether nether region to uh, remove a nasty infection that literally almost killed me. The infection almost killed me, then the operation almost killed me. And then what followed afterwards almost killed me. And then here I get out, spend a week or two at home, uh, get some nasty uh, bed sores on my buttocks, have to go back to the hospital, this time up in Johnson City, where once again I almost died a time or two. It's been a hell of a ride. And the uh, bucking bronc just keeps trying to throw me off. Now one of these days he will succeed and successfully throw me off. It's going to happen to all of us. But thanks to the encouraging words of some of you guys, some of my good friends on here, Coach Spradlin being one of them, uh, uh, all of you guys that have offered prayers and, and offered your help, that, you know, can't express how thankful I am to you. And what a better time to do it than Thanksgiving. So I love each and every one of you guys. Thank you so much for your support. I thank you for your uh, continued support. I need it. Um, I appreciate it a lot. And we'll get back to live streaming. Here real soon. Maybe sooner than you think. I don't know. I, you know, we'll, we'll just have to see. I know Google AdSense. Um, and uh, I, I know it's... It's impossible to make money if you're not on here. Um, live streaming. That's the way some of us make the majority of our money on here. We don't all make the majority of our money with video views. I get it. A lot of you guys do make the majority of your money on video views. I'm not one of those people. I depend on donations and, uh, you know, super chat, shit like that. PayPal, super chat, stuff like that. That's how I make my money on here. And I'm grateful for every penny that you guys uh, send my way. And believe it or not, I'm grateful for every penny that's not sent my way. Uh, anyway, if you still got your mom and dad, don't waste another second. Go give them a hug and tell them how much you love them, how important they are to you. Because you're going to wake up one day and either you won't be here or they won't be here. In which case, no more opportunities for hugs. And I love yous. Mine are all gone. No more hugs and I love yous for my mom and dad. So let's prevent that from happening to you. Have a good night. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Happy Thanksgiving.